Okay, welcome back to the last section of the natural environment in theme two. We have 2.5, climate and vegetation. Now this section is split up into pretty much three parts. Um, I'm gonna go through the first two parts in this video, so it's quite a lot actually. Just make sure again that you're taking a break, pausing, uh, coming back to the information and just making sure you understand before you move on. Otherwise it could be an overload of information. With the climate of vegetation, we're going to look in two main climates. One is a hot, arid area like we see here above, and the other is a tropical rainforest. So let's get into it in part one. Part one, uh, we're going to look at location. So often you'll get a map indicating areas and you can apply some of the information and the logic that we have about this section in that, right? So here we see a couple of major areas where we find rainforest. We have the Congo rainforest in Africa. We've got uh, Madagascar close by. Beside it there, we've got the area around Indonesia and Malaysia here. We'll talk about this area a little bit uh, later, Borneo. And we've got Central American ones here and the Amazon basin there, a very famous one. All right, so those are major tropical rainforests. And there obviously is, there, like, there is some other areas that have them, but that would be the most uh, largest type there. Now, if we look at the desert climate, we're looking at the desert climate here. We've got the Atacama down here matching up uh, some areas of Peru and um, Bolivia and Chile. Got the big Sahara Desert, which is quite well known, biggest in the world, Namib and Kalahari Desert down here. Uh, Great Sandy, uh, Arabian, uh, the Gobi Desert up here, and Mojave Desert and other ones, other minor deserts of that area. So we can see similar traits, like they're along similar lines of latitude going across the earth, like at the equator we see tropicals. We do see similar characteristics and traits, like similar lines of latitude, for example. We also see uh, yeah, similar areas as well, similar distance away from the equator, for example, uh, or near enough. And some of them then are a little bit more north. Some of them then are a little bit more south than we would expect, perhaps. And uh, yeah, there's certain reasons for the, those differences as well. So in, in both areas, you want to be able to look at a climate graph. So let's have a look here. We have a very basic climate graph. Um, we've got degrees Celsius on the outside, and we've got millimeters in the blue on the other side. Uh, we have a red line going through and a line graph, and then we've also got a blue bar chart. So you should be able to guess which is which because the top one on the red one is the same degree Celsius. The blue one is same millimeters. So if you haven't come across them before, let's have a quick look through. So temperature is going in in degrees Celsius. Precipitation is represented then as the bar chart. Uh, we see mil millimeters as the uh, measurement for precipitation, and the temperature then is represented by the line graph. Months of the year are along the bottom, starting from January on the first month to December on the 12th. So this is going to be a tropical rainforest. The characteristics are there to be seen. So we have a fluctuating but almost always high precipitation. Now, if you don't have anything to compare this to, we will in a moment to see just how high that is. So we can see that the maximum in this region could be up to as much as 280 millimeters per month on average. We also see that the temperature stays very consistent between like 20 and 30 degrees. Hey, as always, if that was useful, like, subscribe, and I'll be able to post more videos then. But also, if you want the rest of the content, follow the links below and you should find what you're looking for. All right. Good luck, guys.